You know the Staples Easy Button? That's exactly what Notion's new buttons basically does. I'm so excited to tell you guys about it. Hey everyone, so if you didn't hear, Notion has a couple of big updates and I want to talk about it today, specifically how ADHDers can use it because honestly, this is like the best thing that Notion has come out with that I find that I think a lot of ADHDers will like. So let's get to it. Hey everyone, my name is Jenna and I do a lot of videos on Notion productivity and marketing here on the channel. And today I'm gonna to be walking you through the new button feature from Notion. This is a really, really big update and it's something that I think is gonna be really helpful for a lot of people. So I, I, it, it took me a couple days to kind of figure it out, but I found some really good ways to use it specifically for my template, the ADHD Life Tracker, as well as other ways that you can use it on your own. So I'm gonna walk through how I use it specifically and some really cool ways that it works. Works. Also, I wanted to give an update as well. They just added an option to change icons. If you listen to my podcast from two weeks ago with Marie Poulin, um, I said that that was my number one biggest request was to be able to change icons of multiple pages all at the same time. And that is now a reality. And I've been able to update a ton of my icons and I'm so happy. So I just wanted to share that that is also a big update with Notion. So let's get to it. I'm gonna show you guys how to use this new button feature. Also, if you wanna get into more in depth, I know Thomas Frank has a really good video as well, but I just wanted to share some of my favorite ways to use it, specifically for the things that I track on Notion. So let's just get started. So I wanted to share with you how the button works and what I've done with my Life Tracker template to make it so, so easy. And if you wanted to add more, you can. So let me just start here. So let me just go down. I'm going to click forward slash and you're going to type in the letter B-U-T-T-O-N. So it says run custom automations with the click. So basically how I like to describe this, it's like that easy button, you know, at Staples. You click it and then it sets off a, a series of tasks that you don't have to actually go in and like change the status or add a new page. It just automates it. Now, what's different about this than some of them is that you have to create a new button each time that you want it to do something. So, and this can be on any page. It's not just within a page like the template, but the template option but it's literally just like a button that you can also duplicate it and change it, but let's just get to it. So if I open button, there are five options for this button, right? Insert blocks, add a page to, edit pages in, show confirmation and open page. The ones that I've used the most are the add page to and the edit pages in. Now, what you're gonna do first is you're gonna name it. So let me give an example. I've already made a couple down here. So let me just give an example of make bed. So one of the things I wanna use this for specifically is to sort of use my daily life tracker. I just click it and it automatically changes it to being done for that day. So it's almost like an automated like, all right, I did my thing, boom, click the button. It's going to automatically update my daily life tracker. So I'm gonna type in the words make bed and then you can also change the icon over here. Let's type in the word bed, right? So you can also pick the color, whatever you want. So you, it's not done yet, so you don't wanna click done. Now it's where you're gonna make the automation. This is kind of similar to the automations on like the Apple iPhone, so you can have some like steps once you click it. All right, so when the button is clicked, which is where you go just do click, you're going to choose what you're gonna do. So the ones that I've added is for this one, I'm gonna click edit pages in. And what it's going to do is it's going to have you select a database. Now for this one, I want to use my life tracker template. So I'm going to type in life tracker template. Okay. So this is actually the, actually, I think that's what it's called. Daily life tracker and habits template. Okay. But I don't want it to add it to all of the pages, right? I only want to add it to a specific page. So what I'm going to do is where the date is relative to this day, right? So today's date. So it will only edit in the ones where the date is today. So that's what I do. I'm going to select that. So that is the filter that it's doing. So now when I click that, it's only gonna edit the page that has the date of today. What I'm also gonna do is I'm going to change, I've added over here, make bed is a status option. So what it's going to do is it's gonna turn the status into being done. And that's it. And then I click done. Now I'm gonna show you an example. So if I scroll down to here and I open today's day, you'll see it says make bed, not started, right? That's the current status. If I click this button now, make bed, you'll see it says edited one page. Let me scroll down. You will see now make bed is done. 
So instead of going into that database, you're able to just click a button and it's automatically changing that status so that it's able, so you're able to just go click boom, 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 and you're able to update that database that's already been made. You don't have to make a new page, but that is an option. The next thing you see that I've added a few options. So we've got mood. I was going to kind of add to this. So if you're like tracking your mood for today, let's create a new button, right? So we're going to do button and then we're going to call it uh, sad. Let's just pretend it's sad. All right, let's do sad um, or let's do, let's do face. Let's do like a, here we go, sad face, right? So then we're going to do the same thing. Edit pages in. We're going to select the database. So it's this one. We're going to make sure that the date is today is relative to this day. So it's only going to be on the day that you're doing it. You're going to edit the property and we're going to call it mood. And then we're going to select the mood and that's going to be sad, right? So now that is an option. So now if I go into here, let's see if I have, so right now mood, we have happy. That's like the, 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 the main one. But if we wanted to be sad, you can see now that it's been changed. So basically, does that kind of make sense? I hope that makes sense. Let's go back to another option. One other option that you can do and one that I've started to do is for my to-do list. So for example, if I need to do laundry, I have created this button to add that to my to-do list. Let me show you how to do it. So let me go and let's just do it down here. So if I type in button and I'm going to now choose the option of add page to, so this is actually going to add a page, not edit a page. This is going to add a page to my to-do list. So I'm going to call this laundry, right? And then I'm going to do laundry. Uh, let's just type in like laundry. Okay, so let's just pretend that this is the, this is it. So now what it's going to do is you're actually going to title it. So I'm going to call this do laundry, right? That's it. So now when I select this, you will see that it adds it to my to-do list. So if I go into, you can see right here, it adds it right here. You can also select the status if you wanted to. Right now it's not started, so that's fine. But I also did that, for example, if I click clean, I've already done that, and you can see that that get added as well. So it adds things to the to-do list. So over here I've, I've selected that to add, and then over here I've also selected the errands to do. So if I click grocery shop, that also adds that to my to-do list. Isn't that super, super cool? I think that this is so helpful for a lot of people when they're like, all right, I gotta do this. One of the newer ones that I'm decided to do is I'm going to create a page for my grocery list. I actually created it in my personal, let me show you guys. I decided to, there's a so few items in my grocery list that I tend to buy a lot. And so I click add to grocery list. So for example, if I'm like, I need to buy milk, I just will click milk in my thing and you will see if I go back to my grocery list, it's now added milk to my grocery list. So for me, I think this is a great option for a lot of people if they're like, all right, I need something where I don't have to go in and find that specific database. I just wanna add it specifically and it's things that you do a lot. So I'm gonna probably be working on this and adding my most commonly th used things. And for this one, what I did was I made sure to change it. So if I go to here, you can see what I did was I change the status to grocery list. I didn't add a new page, I just edited the status to grocery list and that's how I did that. So you can also do the opposite. You can change it back to not being in the grocery list. Basically, then what you're going to do is you're going to choose what you wanna do with this for whatever that you want in your, uh, your tracker. So I have added these specific ones to the tracker to kind of get you started. So a couple of the things include like check mail, walk, stretch, these get added um, with the status. Um, I'm probably going to be adding a few more, but for now, this is what I have to start. I wanted to show you a couple of the other button options. So if I go here um, and you can click on button, let me just show you an example. Insert blocks is another option. Basically, this allows you to insert blocks right below. So you could insert um, right below or above the button. You could insert forward slash, let's just do like a to-do list. So check mail, I mean, whatever you wanna do. Let's do mail, um, update, list, whatever it is, okay. So let's just call this um, checklist for traveling or something. All right, so now what you'll do is if you just click this, it will add those. 
So this is nice for some things. I don't know how I would use this, but you could almost maybe make this almost a an option where you can duplicate it and then move this into something else. So that's another thing. I don't think I'm gonna use that option super much. That is something if you want that automation. So that was one that I thought was really cool. Some of the other options for the button, show confirmation. So basically this allows you to show a confirmation that it's been done. I don't know, again, I'm not sure exactly what that one's for. I haven't really looked into that one yet. And then the last one for button is the open page, which is really cool. So if you wanted to, it's kind of a shortcut to open a page. You can select the page. Let's just, let me just click this one. So you can just, if I clicked that and I named it um, open content creation, click done, and then you just click that, it's actually gonna open that page, which is super cool. So I would say those, the edit page and add new page are the ones that I have used the most. And I hope that this was a helpful walkthrough of how to use it. I have now actually updated my templates. If you go back to my templates, you will see that it is now available in my ADHD Life Tracker template. I gotta remove this obviously, and this one, <laughs> which I added just for this video. You will see now that there are some easy buttons at the top. I'm gonna continue to update these over time, but this is what I have for now, because I think it's really helpful. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial walkthrough of the buttons and how you can use it, and I hope you guys have a great day.